Today we're heading back to the spot I was at last week for photos and we're just gonna have some good old VR6 just great fun. Now the main thing I wanna try and do today besides just having a lot of VR6 fun, which we will have, I want to decibel meter my car and see exactly where it's at. I read somewhere, I think it was in the thing that Casey sent me for shipping my car to Germany, either at idle or at 3000 RPM, one of the two, the car cannot be over 95 decibels, which I'm pretty sure my car is gonna be well past, but just to verify, I wanna see and see how much it is. And we're also testing Greg's car and probably Brian's car as well. So three different VR6s, see how loud they are. I don't have an actual like physical decibel meter. I got three or four different apps on my phone. I tried to buy one today, um, but nobody local actually had one. And the only store that had one was Home Depot and theirs was like 300 some odd dollars and I just didn't find those money. So the app should be good enough just to see where we're at. Um, I'm pretty sure we're way past 95, but it should be fun to see. VR6 decibel, how loud my car actually is. <laughs> that was a really, really long clip. All right, so this will be our first test. We are at complete cold start. Um, it's bouncing up from about 40 again to about 75, which is where I'm talking at. Let's watch this thing just bounce off the limiter. Let's see. Oh yeah, there's a solid 98 I just saw. <laughs> We're idling at 103 inside the car. That's where it dropped down. Yeah, no, we're idling at 104, 103. Interesting. Well, needless to say on how accurate this is, if this is even like off by 10 or so, I'm still pretty much screwed with this exhaust. Yeah, probably. Okay, now that we're not on cold start idle anymore, we're idling at about 85, 86 or so, which is actually under 95, so this is good. Now, if it's only at idle and not cold start, we can pass, but that's still risky. But for now, we're passing. We got Miley, we got Christine. This is the VR6 things. <laughs> I just said my car's been doing so good. Nothing too big is broken right now, I'm not really sure. Um, but while we're obviously not at the spot yet, I'm pulled over, Greg told me back. I'm not sure what happened when I was first leaving my neighborhood. I went from first to second and heard kind of like a, kind of like a, a very jerky shift. And I was like, that's kind of weird. And then when I downshifted it a minute ago, I didn't really have, like I didn't hear it click into, into fourth or third, but I was still in the gear. And now this is where my shift knob is now. And that's actually my neutral, but you can see how I like, so something is disconnected somewhere. I don't have any tools with me. So this is about to be fun. We didn't make it very far. I'm not sure what I did. When I was leaving the neighborhood, when I went from one to two, it was kind of clunky. Uh -huh. And then, that's my neutral now, see where it's at? So something came loose somewhere. When I was downshifting from uh, fifth to fourth, I think the cable might have got loose and pulled back a little bit maybe. Does it seem loose or no? It's in neutral now, so see how it feels. Is it moving? Um. Oh, no, you know what happened? The cable's fine. Dude, the little C-clip on the on the bracket. That's what, that's what I just showed you. I think I'm in the cable. No, the cable's loose in the bracket. Oh, I think I'm in the cable's loose in the, the Sigma 5 bracket. Yeah. I think I'm in this bracket here, not that bracket. Wow. Oh, I see it right there. It's right there. Look at it. Right there on the bottom. Right there. Yeah. Oh, my God. Wow. What are the odds? Okay, let's grab that. Put it back on. I think we're. Turn the car off because it's hot. Oh, my gosh. What, what luck. What luck. Okay, so. Clip came loose. The same and clips. landed right bro, there. Bro, the same clips that oh, screwed me the first time I drove this car are the same clips that are brand new ones, too. Right and there. it fell. Let me see if your clip came out and landed right there on top of the tree. Dude, it's right there. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna put that back real quick and then we can continue. Any luckier than that. Oh my god, dude, wow. Any Stand by. So the same little clips that I didn't have the first time I drove this car once we swapped it, that came loose and screwed me over. 
I don't even know how it's popped off, but somehow it popped off and literally landed. All right, fix it. Right there. I said, yeah, Greg, 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 don't yell at me. It. Don't yell at me. I'm fixing, I'm fixing it. It's hot. I'm fixing it. Okay, our little clip is back in. I bent it so it's tighter and I put the opening towards the bottom so it has to go up and out like against gravity. I also threw a zip tie in there as well. So now on this side, we're doing much better. So now we actually have reverse. All of the gears. Okay, <laughs> you ready? You ready? <laughs> oh man. Oh, does this go back out? Gotta love, um, maybe, I don't know. Gotta love these cars. Oh yeah. Oh, that's better. That's so much better, thank goodness. Look at this truck. Welcome to St. Cloud, boys, and it's on bags. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, uh, yes, the wide open roads. I love this spot so much, it's so sick. I think Greg likes it too. Oh yeah, all the VR6 sounds today. And we are here, not a bad spot. Nothing but open roads, no one to yell at us for being too loud. And we got two beautiful VR6s and a gorgeous sunset. Yomar's actually on his way as well. Look at that shot right there. Woo. Uh, my, my day is good. Is your day good? Better now. I mean, my day is good. Wow. All right, pictures have been taken, and man, do the cars look so good in this spot together. Now it's time to make some sounds, make some noise. All right, so we already saw that my car is about 85 or so decibels inside at normal idle. Um, so we'll start out my car and see how much it is at the back side behind the car, maybe like five or so feet or so behind the car and see what is there and then we'll do some revs and we'll do Greg's car and when Yomar is here, we'll do his car as well. Uh-oh, and just in the nick of time, I see another VR6 coming in and this man actually just finished five-speed swap in his car. Welcome to the manual squad, boys. Welcome. A VR6 manual party. All these green cars, I'm always the only blue one here. Bag boys. Now everyone's got a VR6, everyone's manual. Good old VR6. I got one of these coming, I'm hyped up having a badge. One VR, another VR, and then way over here, another VR. These cars are so much fun. Joining the good old, the good old manual squad. So proud of you. So proud of you joining the squad. All right, Greg, giving you the decibel reader. We have a little line right there, a little piece of grass that is Check. five feet back. Check. Is it working? Check. Yep. All right, cool. Let's see. All right, the car is now on. It was 85 or so inside the cabin at normal, I don't know, like cold start. Five feet back. What do we got? The 88? 88. Oh, we're good. At startup, it went up to 103. I mean, hey, if they, I don't, I don't know exactly how they measure it, but if it's not off a cold start, and if it's not revving, that'll pass. 88 you're, will pass. You're gonna want a better. Yeah, I want, I want it quieter, but yeah. hey, by number wise, that'll pass. All right, so let me get some revs and see how high it goes. I'm not gonna like max it out because fire will come out and burn you. So I'm gonna like. Rev oh, you're gonna rev it that high? No, 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 no. I'm not gonna. I'm not going that high. Oh, I'm gonna say I don't want to get. get you'll burnt. get toasted. We don't want to get today. burnt. Good. All right, now we're gonna do. Yeah. We're gonna do. Now, more than likely, they actually like that's what read my car. They'll probably start from like right at the exhaust pipe. But what did you say it was from there? Uh, where? Here? No, yeah, from five yeah. feet away, revving my car at about 6,000 RPM. What was it? 115. That's not bad. I'm not too high over. I'd be worse than that. So, inside the cabin, about 85. Five feet behind the car at normal auto after it's ran a little while, it's about 88, 89, which is both under 95, and then revving will pass it, but not too bad. Yeah, here. About 88, 89, from about five feet away. Not bad. So, in terms of not revving, my passes. All right, you're up. Never what do you know, think? You what, what, do you, what numbers for your car? What do you think? What are you thinking? Because your car is straight pipe. So like, Probably actually, we have 90. a pretty good we have a pretty good like lineup here. Because like, 
my car is like straight to a muffler. Your car is just full straight pipe, and I think you have the closest to like almost a, a stock kind of ish. Yours is the quietest one so far. So we have a good little like range of cars to see where they're at. So if you're wanting to exhaust your car, this is kind of your loudness meter right here. Somewhat stock, muffler, straight piped. Honestly, that's about exactly what mine is too. Yep, and there it goes. <laughs> Hold on, let me go behind the car. All right, I'm gonna put you guys over there. I'm gonna stand more in like the, the blast zone. All right, so right now it's just idle for his car. We're at about 95 or so. I'm a bit closer when he is my car, but. All right, go ahead. Yeah, it's loud if you're wondering. Oh, the car's off and I'm here again. Okay, so how high did you rev your car to just now? About... I went to 6K. 52. Okay, so at your 5,500, you're about 113, 114. That's not bad. So my car about 1,000 RPM higher than yours is about the same as yours, so give or take. I mean, I, that's probably... All I'm saying is standing right there, Yeah. it's a little bit loud. Nah. This is just a, little, a smidge. Something to find in the car. I could have cooked you. Hope you know that. But you didn't. I could have straight roasted you. Yeah, you One of those pops didn't. probably would have shattered the mic on my on my phone. Just toasted it. Bro, I don't doubt it. I, that's why I didn't want to do it. I was scared. All right, you're up. What do you think for your car? So my car, idle, 85. And honestly, this car is about the same. 85. And then about 113 to 115 for revving. That's about almost 60. 60 at idle, you think? Yeah, yeah you're pretty quiet. Maybe what, 50? Yeah. Maybe. What do you think about revving it? Once you rev it, you just get loud when you rev it. It's a little bit, right? Just a little bit. Yeah. So we're thinking about 60 or so in the cabin at idle, outside, and then maybe 70. 90 revving. 70. 70? Yeah. All right, let's try it. All right, hold that inside by your steering wheel. Let's see what you're at. Gotta close the door. Gotta close the door. Yeah, okay, close that door. But roll your window down. Roll your window down. But we're, we're kind of demanding, aren't we? They're <laughs> like, uh, you know. Wow. About like 80. Much. Well, that's that's about five or six lower than both our cars. So I mean, but I think it's also picking up us talking and we'll then talking that search. Yeah, about 80. Okay, so go ahead and rev it to about. I should give that back. I need that. Go to about as high as you feel comfortable, like 5,000, 6,000, somewhere around there. And we'll see what we what we get. And actually, you can actually hear his car, Sammy's. Yeah. All right, all right, same thing, camera setup over there. I have the reader going over here. So at idle behind his car. seven. About 86, 87 without us talking. All right, I'm about five feet back. Go ahead. Right. I saw a max of 103. So yeah, 103. About five or so in the cabin. But I think a lot of the cabin noise is the engine from the front side. Yeah. Um, but in the back side, that's like 15. That's 15 BB. Than my car. And I, I might not know how accurate this is, but at least like this, I sound wise, that's way quieter. But we can say it's accurate enough for the test that we did because we used it yeah. for all three cars. All three cars. It's accurate for this test. So about 102 at about I would say 5500 RPM or so. Yeah. Not a bad little test. Okay, so in conclusion, my car's too loud. It's probably not gonna pass this inspection. Um, but I, always, I was already going to put a stock exhaust back in my car anyways, just to be like super, super safe. I just wanna see where I was at with this one, which in honesty, if it's not revving the car, and it's not a cold start, I might be able to skim by, but it's just too risky. You'll make it if you take off the rear section and put like a factory rear section on. 100% you'll pass. True, it's just risky, so I'll probably just grab a stock VR6 exhaust from somewhere, slap it on, and call it a day. If you're wanting to do an exhaust in your car and you're worried about it being too loud, his setup is a very good setup. So what do you have? You have... Stock cat, stock resonator, and then the ABT exhaust will be... So stock cat, stock resonator, and then what size piping? I think it's 2.5. Two and a half? Okay, so that's not bad. So if you have most of the muffling through here, you have a pretty, um, I would say, mild sounding VR6 that you can have in the morning and not hurt your neighbor's ears. Now, your car, Greg, what's your exhaust? Uh, test pipe, magna flow midsection, two and a half, uh, to nothing. To nothing. So that is what a straight pipe VR6 sounds like, and it is there very, is a very loud. Though. 
It has a resonator, yeah. so it's not completely straight. Needless to say, though, the neighbors hate you and I in the morning. Because our cars are very, very loud in the morning. Never ask them, so I don't care. Yeah, me either. <laughs> now, on my car, I have two and a half inch piping all the way through. There's a test pipe in the middle, uh, so no actual cat. In the back, it's a Magnaflow dual, Magnaflow two and a half inch in and dual two and a half inch out. So, very, very good sound. All very cool cars. Very, very cool cars. This was fun. Now it is time to eat some driving sounds. Alright, Greg's gonna go first. sound. It sounds too good. Mars up next and then I'll finish off in a minute and then we'll do some cars like my car and Greg's car together. We're just getting all the VR6 tonight. All the VR6 sounds tonight. <laughs> 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 ha! So Brian's car will not air up. What? You think it's your fusion compressor? You have no air in the bags or what? The whole system is on a hunt. Oh, fuse. Probably the fuse. I got some with me, I believe. A little bit dark, but the car is now up. He had to kind of just hardwire the controller. Does it need to be up higher than that in the rear? I would go higher than that, yeah, honestly. Yeah, because she's in the back. Yeah, so we got to do all that over again. Mind Basically, put we hardwired the, the V2 controller right at the power source. Somewhere it's not making connection. My system's completely different. I just have paddles, so there's no, like, any of this kind of stuff. We're making it happen. We got it. It's up. It's drivable now. This is why, if you own a Mark III, you go in groups. You bring all your Mark III friends so we can grouply fix each other's cars. Mine broke today. His is now stuck down. Well, up now. Greg, it's up to you now. No, nah, we, we, we got to drive home still, buddy. <laughs> um, not to not, jinx you. I don't want anything to break in your car. All right, car's fixed. Now we're going for some reps, I guess. All right, you're coming in. Even though it has almost no exhaust, still sounds great. Still sounds great. Not bad, not bad at all. It is dark, if I go this way with the light behind me, there I am, look, get on this side. Oh, There's cool. everybody, okay, There's Yomar's okay. gone, Greg's gone. You can't see Miley, but she's right here. It's now my turn. Oh wait, there we go. There's my car. Dude, it is dark out. There's nothing. It's just black out here. All right. Christian's rolling.
There he comes. Here he comes. It's quiet. ourselves a fun little drive back got you guys all mounted up i have the windows up a little bit more so hopefully as much wind noise but we are about to cruise out with the vrs sound barriers oh yeah oh that sound oh it's so good and girls we got a tunnel a small tunnel but what's happening don't go slow in front of me I'm glad Greg got it this van ruined my whole day just now why And we are home. That was fun. That was so much fun. These cars, that VR6 sound is just so good. And even on Yomar's car, where he doesn't have, like, have a loud exhaust, still sounds great. Great sounds is awesome. I love how my car sounds. It's just so much fun to go out there and really just drive these cars and just push them and just have fun in them. Like, this is so much fun. I definitely see in the future a uh, track style setup of wheels and tires for this car so I can turn much harder. I don't want to go into corners too fast on stretched tires just because it's not the smartest thing. I mean, I've hit corners pretty quick on these things and I've got a little bit, a little bit worried, but never had any DBs, thankfully. But this car, it's so much fun. Today was awesome. Just a fun day. Hanging out with some friends, doing VR6 things, just, it was awesome. And the car made it back home in one piece, thankfully. Yomar's car made it home, Greg had no issues. All is well with the VRs. I was shifting kind of slow today, just because I was a little bit worried about that piece on there again. Um, but it proved to be fine, so I think we're all good with that. Just a random thing. I got so lucky that little clip happened to just land on top of the trains and not move at all. And I drove probably another, I would say about a mile, mile and a half without it leaving. So that's always good. All the cars made it home. That was fun. That was so much fun. The only downside of today is now I know for a fact I need to muffle this mu this exhaust a little bit or change it out completely just so there's no issues when it comes to inspection. Because the last thing I want to do is go drop my car off and then have it get like flagged and then there's a whole bunch of too much, way too much stuff. We want to make sure my is good to go. We want to go to Germany with this car. I want to take this car in the Nurburgring, not to go for records, but just I want to say the car has been there. Do a lap, go fast, have some fun. These are fun. I don't know who needs to hear this, but if you have a VR6 or any car in general, drive your car more. Enjoy it. Have fun with it. If it breaks, it breaks. It is what it is. 
Enjoy your car, drive your car, it's fine. Don't forget, be thankful for every single day. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.